So YouTube, <clears throat> you automatically played the videos, of course, when you open up YouTube or whatever. However, why YouTube works, I don't know. But this is, this is one thing about minimalist. Uh, minimalist. I'm kind of like, wow, I, I, YouTube, man. They look like personality people, man. Because sometimes YouTube be hit up right up on stuff, you know? Be like something be very pertinent, you know? Personality models, YouTube, you know, they do the recommendations somehow. I mean, I, I really didn't think I was minimalist, but, you know, that, 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 that video that YouTube automatically played for me, minimalist, it's like, all my shit could spit into a five by five storage unit, and I still got room. Five by five. Matter of fact, I probably could sleep in there and still <laughs> just stack up my stuff on a on a corner on, on the two corners and sleep corner corner way, angle way. It's probably that's what I'm doing. But anyways, uh, yep, I'm on my list. Now I don't make that that many videos lately. I mean, my case. I had already been uh, found guilty by a jury. That goes sensing in about a week, over a week. So I'm moving out of here, of course. It's taken me mm, three bu bus rides to, I probably got two bus rides left than everything of mine being in storage. Yeah, it looks like two more, maybe three tops. <laughs> but they're all, all together, it'd be like five bus trips to get my stuff over there. <sighs> Not really too overwhelmed when I make trips. I would say, if anything, it, it could take me. One, two, four or five bus trips if I, instead of six, six or seven, if I just, you know, I got this laundry basket with wheels, that's going to go. I could carry a lot of stuff. And a laundry basket of my clothes, or a laundry bag, my clothes is already in the storage. That's the first thing I moved in the storage unit, like last Monday. And uh, I gotta wait another day, because they're doing pavement or something. To uh, They're doing pavement this week, and they're supposed to be done with it today or tomorrow. Wednesday or Thursday, I don't remember. But they're supposed to be doing some pavement, paving, probably that, that black tar, whatever, on, on the concrete. It doesn't even look like it needs a pavement job when I was there. I wasn't paying attention, but, um, Anyways, yeah, it cost me like $24 a month, plus $5 insurance, $2,000 insurance to protect my stuff. But cancel the insurance, then it's like 10% off when you do auto pay. So, you know, versus these, these other storage units, you know, I can get there and, and the manager owner guy ain't, go, ain't there, you know, so, you know, what if I'm, like, I was just living in Bremen, and, uh, come to pay, and, uh, come to pay or get, I probably, was, probably came to pay, because there ain't no way I was going to get my shit, 
because I was rehooked up with my ex, reconciled briefly. Well, we reconciled, and shit never really worked out between me and her anyway. So anyways, I realized I'm a minimalist. I, I mean, I, I could do a backpack, but it seems like uh, now I got this sleeping room. Of course, I'm gonna get bedding and pillows. I lost, <laughs> I lost some comforters and pillows down in the basement, I'm trying to wash them. Two loads of laundry, gone. Anyways, um, you know, a backpack is not enough. I need a big duffel bag about my body to carry, you know? Probably a good 50 pounds. A dog, a dog to, <laughs> a dog to help me carry shit. But I, I think I went, like I got a projector, fucking 1080p, and, oh yeah, and a Bluetooth speaker, that's kind of big too. I don't know where I, where I got both of them, like what the fuck am I gonna do with it? Or this later on, you know? Bluetooth speakers like bigger than projector. But but you know you know I'm happy with my phone, but I do need a bigger screen. You know, I like that. like a projector, but one of those box box like little box projectors the size of a You know, like like the like, like size of this battery pack right here. Man, well, you know, probably same size, like. But, uh, yeah. And it's 1080p, pretty sure. Projector. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with 1080p. Um. My original intent was to go to YouTube and make a video, cause I'm, cause uh, of a business loan, or to develop or build me up a business. I don't know what, but I guess business if I create a business, a name and transact or whatever. Or start building credit in the business, in the business uh, thing, you know. That's an idea, you know. Because right now, uh, I would say, um, I'm thinking I'm like a month away, a month away from having all my credit scores about 750 range, 750 points. All three of them on average, I would say it should be like 750, you know, the credit thing, predictor thing. But anyways, uh, some reason my trust union is like 707. If, 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 I'm expecting like, all right, my height before trans union was like 726 or something. I don't know. 
It don't even seem like 7.20. Seems like that's my last hike with Trans Union. But I was expecting like a 7.40 score. Like by now. <laughs> Equifax is like 7.60. Experian is like 717 or well, 720, 720s I think, because it went up. And Equifax is like 760, but my TransUnion is 707. I'm like, wow. And not all these are fecal eight, you know, they their vantage score, which is got a different scoring model. The vantage score is generic of FICO eight. But I, but I think I think vantage score is just puts people like 20, 30 points more than Fico 8 would. Well, except for Experian. Experian seems like pretty consistent on advantage score and uh, and uh, and Fico 8. Maybe 10 points. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe 10 points, no more than 10 points. Uh, difference between those two. Uh, if there is a difference, well, there is a difference. But anyways, yeah, by all means, I've been waiting. I'm expecting like a 740 score. So I only got one new credit line added in February, added two in uh, November. I mean, I've been adding credit all year long. Oh, well, huh. Lots of credit I added. I think the only things that changed is that I got a loan for fifteen hundred, maybe two thousand, maybe twenty five hundred. 2000 I think 2000 got along for 2000 so I'm expecting now and he had like six six to ten point down but we consider my six to yeah, six to ten points down, loss in credit score. So, I don't know, I've got a lot of variables. Just time. There's lots of time. Especially the reportings and shit, you know. Looking, can't wait till this credit line reporters. Payment, get right, go, add a credit line, report payment, etc., etc. <laughs> You'll wait till all those credit lines report payments.
But anyway, it's the idea. My goal is to get the 760. 760 score. All across the board. All the crab rolls. It seems like Trans Union's making the buck, so all this credit, all these uh, creditors are going to Trans Union for hard inquiry. I, I guess because Trans Union is always the highest scorer. Well, unfortunately, because cause everybody goes to them, which is the reason I'm probably they're my lowest scorer. But the applications I use the simulators they told me of a uh, one month's time I'm expecting like seven 730 grade seven 730 score Terrence Union and says if I pay down if I pay the whole debt side of it that that should be like a 760 level now this ain't bad for having one collections account on my credit report DD, it's called derogatory and something else. What's the other D is? Delinquent. Derogatory and delinquent. Yeah. I can make me feel like a, 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 a delinquency, you know? <laughs> delinquent. Fuck it, I don't give a fuck, you know? Well, but I'm planning on taking care of that, that collections. I got something to go to May 31st, so whatever the court do, which I'm expecting to have a direct deposit in my account, and that would take care of all my bills, all my outstanding balances and stuff, and uh, If, if, I, if, I, if I'm locked up, you know what I mean? That one would have no late payments, missed payments. I mean, I'm, I'm, cal I'm expecting that calculating now. Yeah, uh, I get it, but <laughs> what happened this month? I didn't get it till 10 months late. <laughs> but anyways, 10, 11 days later, <laughs> You know, I was like, fucking, borrow money. I don't, well, borrow on the borrowing side. But fortunately, where I relieved, it is, I got my debt. I was capable anyway. But I got my debt down, like 5,000, five, 6,000 in the past two months. I was at like the, the revolving side. Well, I was like 11, 12,000 debt. 11, 12,000. And I got that down to like school loans, 3,500. Collection is 600, 700. And, uh, and revolving debt's like a thousand. But it depends what what my expenses is gonna be for the next two weeks. <laughs> to see if I really took a bite out of fucking my debt. <laughs> I I use credit all the time. It's my primary way of doing pain. Is using credit. I pay credit. <laughs> I believe I might get, you know, I believe I may drown myself like up to $200 since I got so much time before my next direct deposit. 
think. I think I got like it's Wednesday today. I'm expecting it Monday after next. So twelve days. Twelve days. Long time. But anyways, I paid down. I just been paying that. <laughs> it's twelve thousand. Like April. March or April. I think that's when I begin to pay it down. April. April and May. Good old. Good pay down. But anyways, the hope is is to have a seven sixty credit score. my goal. I could be backpacking homeless with a 760 score. Oh, what would people think? What would people think I'm backpacking homeless with a 760 score? Credit score. Yeah. With 760 credit score, I have the power to do shit, you know what I mean? I'll be able to go to any bank, any bank, and borrow for a car. Borrow to, you know, borrow to buy stuff, you know. I mean, consumer credit helps me too, you know what I mean, but I'm not really liking consumer credit that well. Man, they charge anywhere from <coughs> like 20, 20%. 20 they charge anywhere from 20 to 30%. <coughs> 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 They're like, yeah, we get, we got rewards. Get percent, percent and a half back, you know. Yeah, those rewards are nice, you know. I probably got four hundred of them last year, four hundred dollars. And uh, something that's on my mind is that, you know, my sentencing is May 31st. I'm not expecting to do any time. I'm expecting court cost. I'm hoping I'll be able to maneuver at jail time <laughs> in lieu of court cost. And then uh, I'll be able to go in the next chapter of my life. I'm with Jill, at least uh, I'm thinking 15 days, but it could be as much as, as uh, two months. They're most likely will give me like $1,500 in court costs. 
<laughs> it most likely will. Fifteen hundred, two grand. So now I gotta figure out if, uh, you know, I don't know which, either up to 60 days or up to two grand, either or, either or. It looks like they wanna give me a 2,000, <laughs> maybe 1,500, up to 2,000. But it looks like that's what they wanna give me. I don't know what to do when they're gonna give me that two thousand. <laughs> uh, sentence, sentence me to two thousand dollars. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yep, that's what's going on in my life right now. Man. It's pretty bad. I would rather do jail. Two weeks chilling out in, in the county jail. They have a party before I go in there. I'll be brain dead for like first couple of days, whatever. Brain dead for the first couple of days. And then. And then what? Brain dead for the first couple of days, couple few days. That be in there. I'm expecting fifteen jail days. If I do sixty, oh man, what well shit. I can't do no 60. But whichever, the choice between 2,000 court costs or 60 days, hmm, 2,000, yes sir. -y. And uh, let's see. Well, whatever, when that issue is done, 
down. Now decide after that what where life is going to, where to go with life. You know, the idea of jail for like 15 days was a place to relax, to get my, my uh, focus together. <clears throat> What I'm thinking is about uh, <clears throat> like 15 days in lieu of court costs. Remind you, this is not 15, 15 days. This is like <clears throat> this is like uh, added to 30. Which is like <clears throat> already the thirties, two weeks too long. Definitely a week a week longer. <clears throat> but I really count uh, fifteen days. With it, yeah. fifteen days. I sit, relax, get my focus right. Is that what I'm gonna do? So say I go in the uh, May thirty first. I get out the 14th, the 13th to the 14th, the 14th, yeah, June 14th. Cheers, freaking me out. And on the fourteenth, everything is taken care of everywhere. Well, I might, I might have to drop my phone off somewhere in Mission City. But uh, I come get it the 14th of June. My expected release. Can't really do another fifteen days in jail. I 
I'm gonna come in there with a fucking couple hundred, couple hundred dollars. And then, uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is, uh, It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, Relocate. Maybe Illinois. Illinois is fucking like a train right away. I want to have the thing. What they have to do is pick up my phone and go. So, so, I mean, I might party, my release, celebrate. And at that point in June, I mean, I won't pay my debt, the remainder of my revolving debt. So, so, I'm gonna be debt free because I'll have like, whatever. But the idea is take the train to all Chicago. I just keep on going. I'll probably buy me another backpack. Build me up clothes. Found some city, city. Until I find some place I like. I would say Chicago, Illinois, right around there. Go up Wisconsin. Go over Minnesota. Enjoy the summer. But if they give me court cost, But this is what I'm gonna tell the judge I'm gonna say. After this court hearing, I'm gonna go spelunking across the nation until I find until I find a state. Hmm. A state that protects me, that protects my, my sickness, that does not prosecute 
I don't criminal. Don't criminalize me. state. I'm all packed up. I say I'm all packed up. All my stuff is in storage. Here in, I say all my stuff is in storage in Osceola. And I want to go to explore the states. Good credit score. So I'm just going right out of speech. Maybe I can have enough to say that we will the other grant me 15 days in jail. Institutionalize me for two more months. Or How am I gonna get out of this court cause? <laughs> oh, this jury trial expense. What if they give me two thousand dollars court cost? And give me probation. I'm gonna try to get that. Not get that. Whatever I gotta say. I'm not gonna try to get that. Two thousand bucks in court costs. It's gonna hurt me. I don't know. Well, anyway, today I'm anticipating moving. Getting some stuff in storage. Getting up. Get one load in storage. Take the bus to do some laundry. Get some laundry done. And then, uh. Then I'm gonna yep. 
this is my past day. Get a little laundry done. Or, 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 get, or, or get another, take another trip, stuff to take to storage, and get a, another load of laundry done. Or just get all my laundry done. And started. And then, uh, And then I'm gonna maybe this clothes I got with me summon up to the old property. So I'm definitely taking the load to the storage. Loaded stuff. And, uh, and then, uh, I'd be moved out of here. more trips. Yeah, two or three. I think two. I only got nine more days of freedom left. Really eight. So I gotta be there Friday, May 31st at about eight o'clock. Eight or nine. Uh, I'm thinking like, uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do between now and then. I would say the day before my sentencing Thursday, I'll leave off to Michigan City. Yeah, I'll leave off to Michigan City. So probably how I'm gonna do things. So which gives me how I got today planned. So I have a week to enjoy myself. No, I ain't gonna party every day. But I am party Thursday. Thursday after night. Michigan City. And then uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, okay. I don't know. I think a movie's coming out next Tuesday. Maybe, I'm oh, not sure. Or Tuesday afterwards. I think it's Tuesday afterwards. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to enjoy myself, but I should be out of here, like, Friday, maybe? Yeah, I should be out of here by Friday. And then, uh... Yeah, I should be out of here by Friday. Rent receipt says like May 31st, but I don't know. I just don't. I 
really fucked up on rent. And they fucked up on bookkeeping. This is going to be adventurous. I'm going to do whatever between now and Friday. Between now and court. I don't know what I expend. I don't know. We have to find out. <laughs> I'd like to know what I'm going to do. It's comfortable, relaxing, stable to reside in a resident or to reside, you know, have my own place and shit, a room. But I'm not really happy here. Bed bugs. <laughs> yeah, come in through the walls and shit. They try to fucking suck my blood. I find fucking five to ten on my bed. Five, five to ten on my bed every fucking day. Every fucking day. And they come in for fucking the cracks and they fucking crawl. Man, I threw a party like uh, I threw a party here like uh, last weekend, last Saturday. It's been like fifty, a good fifty-five, and beer, beer delivers two, two cases. I just kept on buying twelve packs and had delivered. With the neighbors and shit, you know what I mean? And people. But anyways, uh, we got in a fucking hurt. Some of us got in a hilarious conversation about these bed bugs. And, uh, this one guy stayed here for five years. He was talking about fucking, uh, a couple of guys that stayed here for some years, but you know, I mean, this is a fucking it's supposed to be a, a six six unit apartment building, but they, they divided the six units up in multiple of four more for divided off in rooms. This is out. Anyways, it's agonizing. Bed bugs are agonizing. Not long ago, there's this guy who's charged for setting a house on fire <laughs> on a news thing here in Indiana, somewhere in Indiana. I don't know. I think it was South Bend. I'm like, the place was a place bed bug infested. That's what I probably do. Fuck paying a Terminator a fucking thousand, a thousand bucks for so many kills. So many attempts to get rid of the motherfuckers. I'll burn the motherfucker down. Oops, I was trying to say this on YouTube. Because we because we we'll, we'll down the road this shit happens. They be looking at my videos and shit. Be fucking say, yup, we got you. We got you, motherfucker. <clears throat> for arson, for, for burning down my own house, you know what I mean?
yep, I'm thinking about becoming a homeowner. Kind of interested in his tax sales, delinquency, delinquent property tax sale. You know, there's a city in Benton Harbor. Fucking houses are like fucking super cheap. I'd be like having the whole fucking house fucking cameraed up, you know what I mean? The camera's all around that motherfucker. Camera, camera, camera. Now I'd be posting it. Video monitoring any factor. I don't know what I'm doing in life, but I don't want to get there. The only thing that sucks about Michigan is the transportation. It's kind of not as pleasant as South Bend. Yeah, I think I gotta get um, I don't know what the fuck am I doing. I know I don't feel secure. I do not feel secure in Indiana. I got that laundry basket like a couple weeks ago or better, longer. I'm like, well, I was thinking about storage things, airtight, but they didn't have wheels on it, and so I got a clothes hamper because they had wheels. <laughs> be able to tote my stuff on a city bus, a couple city buses, drop my shit off at the storage unit, more shit, instead of carrying bags of my shit, you know, so I'm thinking about the only thing I have left. So this is true. If I get my storage and my little chair I bought not too long ago, fishing pole, fishing pole in there. Bobby, my coffee pot and my Bluetooth speaker would be the last two things. 
to my phone and my chargers. Yeah, it's in like two trips. It's in like I might have problems with a wheel, Bluetooth speaker, and a coffee pot. Maybe not. Put it in a box. I'm ready to go. <laughs> This concludes it. This is my per venue.